technology has greatly affected business studies in secondary school. The largest impact has been on equipment and office procedures. This video will illustrate how the Hamilton Board of Education is meeting the challenge to keep pace with the electronic age. Delta Secondary School provides an excellent example of the equipment now available for all student programs, including regular day school, night school, and adult day classes. You will now begin a visual tour of the business department at Delta Secondary, where you will see students using a wide variety of electronic equipment. We will start our tour in a grade nine typing class. Beginning keyboarding is useful to all first year secondary students. Here a student is using automatic centering to type an announcement. This student is formatting a tabulation exercise with the aid of automatic functions. Keywords are typed to automatically set tabs and margins. Grade 10 keyboarding students use electronic machines which have some memory capabilities. Thus, commonly used margins may be stored in memory and recalled on command. By responding to questions on the screen, the students may change margin formats. The storage on these machines also allows for automatic correction. By depressing the cancel key, errors can be erased. Using other special keys, underscoring and bold printing are automatically added to the text. In this IBM computer center, students work on integrated assignments. Some programs include data entry, spreadsheet, graphics, and word processing applications. Here the student is keying a form letter to be stored on a disk. When addresses from the form letter are entered in a database, these addresses can be recalled for a mail merge with the form letter. Graphics may be used to produce a variety of graphs which can be added to reports and correspondence. As well, spreadsheets can be created to be included in the final presentation. Attractive announcements such as this one can be created with the Print Shop program. To the text, various borders and illustrations can be added to enhance the message. <laughs> Students are able to practice their classroom skills in the business training office, where a variety of word processing equipment is available. In a role of administrative assistance, Students rotate through the electronic office as part of their information processing course. All aspects of office procedures are followed here, from handling the telephone to typing realistic work orders. Here, a teacher is going over instructions on a work order with the secretary of the day. What I have, Laura, is the boys athletic report and it's already been typed up on the AES. What I'd like is to have it revised except showing the figures that I have here. Let me recall the boys' athletic report on the AES for you. Thank you. Athletic council accounts can be called up and updated. Good. What I'd like you to do is to put in the new totals here as you're also typing in the revisions. That's OK. On the AES, a combined word processor printer, these business English students are able to work together and produce reports in hard copy for classroom presentations. Word processing is taught in grades 11 and 12 business procedures. Text stored in this machine's memory can be printed automatically. Here, the student is proofreading a data sheet. An error has been located. By scrolling through the memory, the typist can locate the text to be changed. Words may be altered, inserted, deleted, or moved around before a final draft is printed. This Canon V2000 is a good example of interfaced equipment used in many offices. 
A monitor has been added to an electronic typewriter, which acts as a printer to allow word processing. This student is working with a word processing program suited to this equipment. She is keyboarding a letter. The IBM PC can be used for Data Pro as well as word processing. Here, a student is entering data for Delta alumni records. Business Training Office, Laura speaking. May I help you? A modern telephone is also available for students to learn current telephone techniques. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. The Introduction to Business courses focuses on all aspects of business, which allows students to consider possible career paths. Some topics studied are law, marketing, banking, and computers. A portion of the course is the study of computers and their application in the business world. Simple basic program writing is taught at the grade 9 level. Grade 10 accounting introduces students to accounting principles and exposes them to a variety of career possibilities at all levels. Students learn the basic accounting theory and then update these skills on the computers. Accounting procedures previously done by hand are now completed efficiently on a computer and printer. Computer theory and programming are offered at the senior level. Business students are introduced to the various parts which make up a computer system. They learn how these parts work together to become a powerful problem-solving device. Students are also taught to give instructions to the computer through the use of a computer language. Thus, data can be entered into the system, processed, and a solution to the problem printed out. In order to have a computer do work for them, students must first learn how to communicate with it. A computer must be instructed using logically arranged instructions in one of several computer languages. These students are in the process of developing a list of instructions in the basic language. The completed instructions are called a computer program. Students assist one another in correcting a basic program on the screen. When the program is run, it can be followed on the computer screen, or if a hard copy, that is a copy printed on paper, is needed, a printer is used. There are many job opportunities in the computer area. Computer operation, data entry, and programming are only a few of the possibilities available to those who have the proper training. As seen here in the school office, secretaries enter and produce school records daily. The computer is a useful tool for all staff members. Our VP finds it indispensable for programming school timetables. We are proud that the Hamilton Board of Education is providing students with the teachers and equipment necessary to prepare for the electronic age. <laughs>